Having a positive mindset about people is essential for honorable leadership. Our entire concept of courageous accountability is anchored in the principle that people want to succeed. They want to be a part of something larger than themselves. They want to be valued, and they want to count for something. When the leader assumes goodwill, treats others with dignity and respect, and believes in them, they will be inspired to respond with their best. Collaboration plays a key role in helping people feel valued because it feels inclusive and not just directive. This is not going to be easy for highly results-oriented people, but with a little practice, they can see how effective it can be and come to enjoy it as well. Now, let me hasten to say that leading with collaboration does not mean you give up your authority to make decisions or to be firm with accountability. It's more about believing that people want to succeed and then working with them to help make that possible. Think of it more as a collaborative process where you take off your boss's hat and just work side by side with them to solve problems. It means that you coach, mentor, correct, and engage with your people as needed to help them move down a path towards success. In the process, you're helping them develop and learn about leadership. They know you're the boss and you have the power but the fact that you have shown them respect and kindness will engender a powerful respect back toward you. You can always put your boss hat back on as needed, and for sure you'll have to do that from time to time. Keep in mind that collaboration is more than just vertical. We've been talking primarily about collaborating down a level to align with your people, but for overall success, collaboration is needed in every direction. The more you collaborate with your peers, the more your people are free to collaborate with peers at their level and vice versa. So be intentional about your collaborations in all directions. Collaboration also helps minimize risk. The more you're dialoguing and engaging with your people, the more you will know about how things are really going. Likewise, the more they will know about the big picture and be able to integrate a level of thinking and insight that is more effective than just having considerations from their limited experience and level in the organization. Collaboration also develops your people. Good leaders realize they can't do all the work and they must have talented, trained, and motivated people on their team. Moreover, good leaders see the value in developing both the performance and the potential of others, and they're intentional and collaborative about that process. They take ownership for the development of others. And by the way, Leading collaboratively is very important for working with millennials. They like it, and they will be more likely to respond than from a do-as-you-are-told approach. So it's even more important now than before. So to summarize, engaging with honor requires a collaborative mindset toward working with people. Developing your team and guiding them to success is your primary responsibility. The payoff of this hard work is better results, higher morale, better engagement and retention, and next generation leaders who can take your place.